Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from EGATSEC. If like me, you've gotten your hands on the Red Magic 7 Transparent Edition, and of course, you want to keep it safe, and one of the most common questions that I get asked on the channel is, what type of case can I actually use on the Red Magic 7 that will not only keep it safe, but will also be compatible with either the Red Magic Dual Core Cooler or the latest Red Magic Turbo Cooler. And lucky for us, Nubia actually came up with their own lineup of protective cases. And this is what I've got on my table right now, which is the Red Magic 7 protective case. Personally, I've never used my phone without a case. And if you consider that the Red Magic 7 and Red Magic 7 Pro Transparent Edition has a glass pack, then of course that makes it more important to have a good protective case. And I'm going to be reviewing this case so you'll know if this is one piece of tech that you guys want to get. So what are we waiting for guys? Let's get this unboxing and review started. Alright guys, so this is a very simple case. So you've got a picture of the actual protective case and you've got your Nubia logo up there and you've got Red Magic protective case written on the upper right. On the right side, it has a Red Magic text as well as the left side and at the back of course you've just got the Nubia Technology Corporation Limited. So this is the Red Magic 7 protective case. The Red Magic 7 is a different size from the Red Magic 7 Pro. So, so of course this protective case will not fit your Red Magic 7 Pro if you manage to get your hands on one. Alright so plastic is out of the way. Let's see the case. So there isn't anything else in the box. Alright guys, and here is the case. So it does actually look similar to the Black Shark 4 Pro case that I reviewed on the channel. So it does have a gaming phone vibe and looking at this, there seems to be a conductive material on the back here. So this tells me that when I put the cooler, either the dual core cooler or the turbo cooler over this piece of material, the case will not actually affect the cooling of those coolers. And at the back here guys, uh, I have a feeling that this will actually uh, help in keeping your phone cool even when the case is attached. But first, let's actually see how it looks on the phone. So in order to put it on guys, I tend to put the top part first. So looking at it, you're going to have protection at the top and the bottom, but your sides are actually completely open. So the left side is completely open, so you still get access to your dedicated game center switch, volume rockers, uh, volume up and down, and at the top, it's also completely open. You got the other uh, vent here, and your left and right shoulder triggers. And you got your power button right there. So in terms of protection, not really sure how well this case will protect the phone. Of course, if you drop it sideways, then your left and right side is at risk of damage. And one thing that I noticed here, guys, there isn't much of a lip. So the top and the bottom of the case isn't uh, really raised. So if you tend to slam your phone on tables like this, then you're probably at risk with damaging your Red Magic 7 display. But I do like the overall design on the back. And one thing that I did notice is since this isn't a transparent case, you're not going to be able to see the RGB LED fan on the back now. So if you purposely got the transparent edition so you can show off that RGB fan, and if you use the case, then it's going to be hidden. So let's turn it on. You can see the RGB light from the vent, but you can't see it at the back now. I kind of wish that they'd left a kind of an opening or just maybe just put the transparent material on this part of the case so you can still see the RGB fan in action. And of course, there is an opening here in the back because you've got an additional intake vent on the back of the Red Magic 7 so you don't actually have to worry about that vent being blocked when using this case. And of course, you've got a big cutout here at the back that shows off the triple camera system. So it's a pretty simple case. I'm not going to be doing a drop test so don't expect expect that in this video here guys but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be testing the thermal performance of the case because based on the design this should definitely help when using dedicated red magic coolers so in order to test that I'm going to be running 3d mark wildlife stress test which is a 20 minute test and we'll see how well the phone does with and without the case and with a cooler attached so for the first test I'm going to be running 3d mark wildlife without a case and then for the next test I'm going to be putting the case so this is going to serve as our baseline and for the next round of tests i'm going to be connecting the red magic turbo cooler without a case and then for the second test i'm going to be connecting the red magic turbo cooler with this red magic protective case installed let me actually remove the case first all 
All right guys, so I've elevated the phone so you've got a gap on the back to allow the intake fan to take in air without being blocked by the table. So this is going to be a 20 minute test. So we'll start the first test in three, two, one. Alright guys, so first test done. Best loop 2617, lowest loop 2291. Stability is at 87.5% and let's look at the temperature here. In terms of the battery, it went down from 95 to 73 and temperature got to a pretty hot 55 degrees Celsius guys. And the frame rate ranged from 10 to 20. So of course, I'm going to let the phone cool down and then I'm going to be attaching the red magic turbo cooler and we'll run another test without the case and then we'll put the case on all right guys so i've got the red magic turbo cooler already attached and just so you guys can see i did connect it by bluetooth and it's running at its maximum fan speed and without the case, it does make pretty good contact with the back of the phone. I did get the universal version of the Red Magic Turbo Cooler, but if you're just going to be using it with the Red Magic 7 or Red Magic 7 Pro, then I suggest getting the Red Magic 7 version because that has a curved back versus the flat back that you've got on this Red Magic Universal version. Okay, starting the test in 3, 2, 1. Alright guys, so test is done. So with the Red Magic Turbo Cooler, the best loop is 2627, lowest loop 2505. Stability is at 95.4% and if we see the battery went down from 61 to 36, temperature got to a lower 44 degrees over the 55 that we got earlier and frame rates range from 11 to 20. So that is the result for the extreme stress test with the Red Magic Turbo Cooler without the case. So now it's time to put on the case and let's do the test with just the case attached. I've got the Red Magic Protective case already on the phone and we'll test the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test and we'll see whether putting this specific case on will have an effect on the thermal performance of the Red Magic 7. So let's start the test in 3, 2, 1. Alright guys, so test is done, 2617 for the best loop, 2332 on the lowest loop, stability is actually a bit better with the case at 89.1%, battery went down from 100 to 81, temperature is about the same 55 degrees celsius and frame rate is from 11 to 20. So it is pretty clear here guys that even with the use of the case, the stability is actually a bit better compared to the test without the case. So pretty interesting result here guys. So I'm gonna let the phone cool down and then I'm going to run the test and I'm going to be attaching the turbo cooler. Alright guys, so for the fourth and final test, again, the Red Magic Turbo Cooler while the protective case is on. So I'm going to be placing the cooler on top of this conductive material. Alright guys, so the cooler is attached. It is making perfect contact with the back of the phone or with the back of the case in this case. So starting the test with the Red Magic Protective Case and the Red Magic Turbo Cooler attached in 3, 2, 1.
All right, guys, test is done. Best loop score, 2,630. Lowest loop, 2,527. Stability is better with the case at 96.1%. And the battery went from 77 to 52. Temperature hit 46 degrees Celsius, guys. So it is 2 degrees higher than when running the test without the case but with the turbo cooler. And frame rate was from 12 to 20. So let's go ahead and check the temperature here, guys. After removing this one, let's see the temperature of that conductive material. Oh, pretty cool here. 40.4 degrees on the back here, guys. Alright. So without the case. So looking at the material here, guys, it definitely helps in cooling the phone. This part of the case is definitely colder than the rest. So this conductive material right in the center is really doing its job, guys. So before I go ahead and wrap up the video guys, here are some graphs of the results that I've gotten from running the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. So based on the results here guys, it is pretty evident that with the use of the Red Magic Protective case, I don't have to worry about the phone getting excessively hot because one of the features that the case offers is that it actually helps in cooling the phone. So if you're going to be using an external cooler like this one which is the Red Magic Turbo Cooler, it's definitely compatible with the Red Magic Protective case and it does a pretty good job at cooling the phone. Though I think that it would be a bit better if the cooling pad at the back actually has a bigger area. So in terms of the cooling and the performance, I have no complaints about the Red Magic Protective case, though I am still worried about the actual protection that it offers because you've only got protection at the back and at the top and the bottom. On the sides, it's completely open. So if you drop your phone the wrong way, it then is definitely going to get damaged. But in my opinion, it's better than nothing guys because I don't really like using phones without the case. Because for one thing, it does get hot to the touch and with the use of the case, then your fingers are not going to make direct contact with the back of the phone. And it does offer some level of protection and it's definitely better than going without the case. So I guess I'll go ahead and end this unboxing and review video of the Red Magic Protective case. I put up some purchase links on the video description so if you're interested in getting the case please go ahead and use my affiliate links to purchase this case so with that said a sub would be massively appreciated please like and subscribe hit that bell icon notification and see you all on my next one